Like, look, I'm steaming up. I'm, there's steam. I just had a drink through my <laughs> Um, hello. I don't know whether to trust you or... Every year I come here just to be blinded by the lights. <laughs> she seems very picky. Maybe she's mentally retarded. <laughs> Does anybody else feel like they just cannot be bothered with normal clothes still? I feel like I'm like trapped in the 2020 mindset of like, throw on a hat, throw on a hoodie, put on some comfy lounge pants and call it a day. And that's essentially what my style is now. So little self-discovery is needed. Um, maybe after Christmas, I'll get to fixing that whole problem. Um, but good morning anyway. Hello, it's Saturday. I'm happy it's Saturday. I'm happy to not be at work. And I am headed out to do some editing for an event that I did a few weeks back. The deadline's coming up and I need to get that finished. Um, and then also I think I'm going to hang out with my friend Courtney today and do some potential Christmas shopping and then maybe do like a late lunch or dinner with her. Um, so I'll take you guys along with that and we will just see where the day takes us today. everywhere but we're in Aerie and I'm obsessed with everything I want everything Courtney just got one of these um, scarves that are like the oversized blankety scarves I have like a pink one from Gap so I know she's probably gonna love it got some good Christmas gifts already too um look at these boys who grace me with their presents today um hello I don't know whether to trust you or to be scared of you. You're kind of chunky. A little chunky. Oh, and more green than I thought. Hi. Hello. If I come near you, will you attack me? Hi. Can I get to my door or no? Please? I think they just wanted me to move out of the way because now they're leaving me. Okay. You guys have a great day, you hear? I just made it back home and excuse my hat hair. Oh, we went shopping. Um, I didn't really film a bunch of me and Courtney hanging out just because I wanted to be able to hang out with her. And then we went to Mission Barbecue and had some dinner. And I'm so glad that we met up because I was just kind of having a blah morning and blah day. My anxiety has been really bad and some days it's just like that. So instead of just like reclusing in the house, which is what it told me to do, I made sure that I had some social interaction and got to see a friend and catch up with her. Um, so that always seems to kind of shake me a little bit and kind of help me get out of my head some. Um, so that was really fun. So it was really nice to just like shop with a friend. And then the doorbell rang while I was gone and I can talk through the doorbell and I didn't recognize the people at first, but it was our neighbor and her two little kids. And so I talked through it and I said, Hey, we're not home right now. Is everything okay? And she was like, Oh yeah, happy holidays. We just wanted to bring you guys some cookies that we made and say Merry Christmas, which I thought was so sweet. <laughs> Um, so I just opened their card um, and it is just the most adorable thing. It says naughty list and never heard of it. Merry Christmas. And it's a cute picture of them in front of the tree. But look at these cookies that they brought. So it said deliver to our favorite neighbors. So cute. I love this. I love our neighbors. And then this like giant cookie tin and look at all of these they made so many different ones it looks like there's like red velvet with maybe white chocolate chip and then the like Reese's thumbprint kind the like snowball kind like so many that was so sweet of them 
I just got out of a nice fresh shower. This is my very unattractive baby bun that I put my hair in. So my hair is like naturally curly and kind of wavy, as you guys have seen in the past, my crazy curls. But um, with it being super short now, I like to either kind of like put a wave bend in it with my um, curling iron or a straightener or um, crimp it. That's kind of been my thing too with the like waves. Um, but I found if I blow dry it, it tends to just get really poofy. Like it's always gotten a little poofy, but it had like more weight to it. So if I just like slick it back like this and then put it in a little bun and let it dry, air dry like this, I find that my hair all from the top of my head are, is like way less frizzy. It literally dries almost straight for like half of my hair and then I only have to do like the back of it to really straighten it out if I need to. Um, Cause a big blowout doesn't necessarily work with my kind of hair, um, but I've gotten super cozy in the bed. Willow is here with me, just cuddled up, staring at God knows what. I don't know, this is my kneecap and she's just like resting on it. When Meg's not home, she's like so cuddly and just like hangs out with me so much. So she makes an appearance all the time basically because she's almost always with me. I'm also really, really excited because I got turned on my uh, YouTube and Zoe and Alfie have actually posted a video since they've had Audley and they haven't been doing Vlogmas, which I thought they weren't going to do Vlogmas or any Christmas stuff at all, but they posted a video with the little baby. So I'm going to watch that. I'll probably watch both of them, even though they filmed it together. I don't even care. I'm just excited that they posted something and that they have something Christmassy on here. So I'm going to just watch that and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Hello. Good morning. It's Sunday and I am headed to hang out with my mom and my sister today and do some Christmas festivities. And by Christmas festivities, I mean um, go back to Christmas town. So I'm excited. I go with them every year and this is the first year I kind of like split it where I went with Meg's family for one and then now going with my family for another one. But I just can't like not go. It's just, it's so fun. Um, yeah, I can't just like not go for a second time, I mean. Obviously, I'm obsessed with it. So this go round, my goal is to find the Guinness Chili because, oh, you're drifting. I think my phone is officially too heavy for this stand. But anyway, my goal is to find the Guinness Chili this time and hopefully they have it in the smokehouse. The line was atrocious last time and none of us even waited in the line for the smokehouse for anything. So I'm hoping that there is some there and that maybe if we get there early enough, there won't be a ton of people. Uh, so that's the goal. So I am gonna stop and get some gas and I will see you guys at my mom's. What, how are you feeling in this outfit? I'm feeling like an early 20s New Yorker going to a cafe to drink her coffee while reading her murder mystery book <laughs> at 9 a.m. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. The, so the socks are a nice addition here. Do you see your, do you see Look at all of your layers. I like it. It's not, you're not going to be warm enough at the top, though. Probably put a... You don't think she's going to be warm enough? She's, like, fully... No, covered. that coat doesn't keep her warm at all. What's in your mouth? My pill. <laughs> I've got to take my pill. Jen, give me a glass of water really fast because it's, it's terrible. We need to go, woman. It's almost We're time. Coming. This is the trick. You <laughs> Jen has static on her corduroy pants. <laughs> <laughs> you, damp, you dampen the pants. They're like the sticking to her leg. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're like permanently <laughs> My mom's dog Jazzy is like extremely choicy on whether she wants to eat food or not. Like ever. Like I watched her for a couple of days and I got her eating Pumbaa's food, which is like the soft fresh pet kind of food from the fridge section. But my mom just said now she won't even eat that.
And she's having to like cook her ground beef. And what did you make her? Today, yeah. she, she has stopped eating ground beef and rice. She now only eats boiled chicken breast and rice. <laughs> and you have to shred the boiled chicken breast for, for her. It's terrible. Well, maybe she just needs to go on a vegan diet. She seems very picky. Maybe she's mentally retarded. <laughs>75 million Santas that kids believe they see every day. <laughs> yeah. And Santa Claus can ice skate. Yeah, and he can ice skate, at least today. I would hope so. It's Santa! I was told not to stare at it, but I'm taking over the vlog for about two seconds. Hello, we are in a show right now. There's mom in a wheelchair. We get um, special viewing because she's in a wheelchair. And Mickey, Mickey just braved, uh, pushing her up a very hard hill. Yeah, we pushed her. Like, look, I'm steaming up. Oh, I'm, there's steam. I just tried to drink through my head. I'm gonna turn my off. I'm so look, I'm steaming up. Oh, I'm, there's steam. I just tried to drink through my head. I'm gonna turn my We're finished, we're leaving. That's a wrap on Christmas Town. Until we meet again. Oh yeah. my God, look at that light. <laughs> Do you have fun, Mom? Yes. Yeah. Do you have fun, Jen? Yes, I did. We saw two of our favorite shows. Yes. yes, we did. We had a blast. And I'm so glad you guys came with me. Yes. Wait, okay, we'll, we'll see you guys. Tomorrow. Come again soon. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. It's another day of me looking like trash. And today, we are finally doing what, baby? Gonna put ornaments on the tree. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Look at the baby laying in the sun rays. This one's been a little sickly because she won't stop eating the fake tree we have upstairs and then vomiting it. Coronavirus. Our tree has been barren <laughs> for <laughs> like how long? A week? Two weeks? Can you put down Black Santa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> it's been barren. We're going to finally put some ornaments on it. So, um, Jesus, I just vacuumed the floor. So, anyway, enjoy this um, time lapse of us putting all these ornaments up. <laughs>
ornament this year. 